now uh, the points come now how to calculate gross annual value under section 23 subsection 1 now you know uh, section of annual value is 23 now what is this subsection 1 because this is a let out property for let out property annual value section of annual value is 23 subsection 1 you have to remember this for let out property section of annual value is under section 23 subsection 1 here are some steps now remember one thing there are many methods but I instruct you strictly follow these steps because these steps are uh, most easier than other steps so you follow these steps what I am directing here so for the computation of gross annual value first step step number one that is you have to take gross municipal value fair rent and standard rent these are given in your problem tumadher eta kintu problem ek deva thakke now maybe there is one missing there is no problem if one point is missing we will do as if without that point ok so first we are taking that gross municipal value fair rent and standard rent suppose these are three amounts in case of step one we will write these three amount in case of step two you have to compute reasonable expected rent Bangla Amra Bolchi Jukti Shangoto Net Chobhara now what is this amount what is the amount uh, uh, what will be the amount for reasonable expected rent now you have to compare first the, this two what are they gross municipal value and fair rent you have to take higher of gross municipal value and fair rent okay but remember one thing that will not exceed standard rent okay higher we will take the higher of gross municipal value and fair rent but it will not exceed standard rent i am giving some examples now in case of step 2 reasonable expected trend what is that higher of gross municipal value and fair rent subject to maximum of standard rent suppose i am giving an example suppose gross municipal value is 2 lakhs gross municipal value is 2 lakhs fair rent is 1 lakh 80 thousand okay now which one is higher gross municipal value is higher but if there is standard rent suppose the standard rent is 1 lakh 90 thousand now higher is gross municipal value but it exceeds standard rent in that case you have to take the standard rent as reasonable expected rent when when the higher of these two exceeds standard rent suppose i am giving another example suppose standard rent is 2 lakh 20 thousand suppose standard rent is 2 lakh 20 thousand now compare this to gross municipal value and fair rent which one is higher gross municipal value and now it is not exceed it not exceeds the standard rent because standard rent is 2 lakh 20 thousand in that case reasonable expected rent will be these 2 lakhs okay i have given two example for you for the step one in case of step two you have to calculate accordingly the reasonable expected rent now 
Next point is we will compare this reasonable expected rent with rent receivable. Another name of rent receivable is annual rent. Always take annual rent that is 12 months rent. Don't uh, reduce it with the vacancy period if the house is vacant suppose uh, house is uh, rented for 10 months and 2 months is vacant but you have to take for 12 months rent suppose rent is 4000 per month you have to take 12 into 4000 that is 48000 and from this annual rent only one thing you may reduce that is unrealized rent if any unrealized rent means tenant is defaulter tenant not paid the rent tenant use that house but not paid the rent that is called the unrealized rent now there are some conditions for unrealized rent i am discussing that later on if there is any unrealized rent you have to reduced it from the annual rent okay and the reduced portion is here now you have to compare with the reasonable expected rent and the un, uh, annual rent step 3 what is step 3 higher of step 2 now uh, from these two you have to take the higher part okay and from this you have to reduce loss due to vacancy. If there is no vacancy period, in that case, this amount will be the gross annual value. But if there is any loss due to vacancy, in that case, you have to reduce this loss due to vacancy. Now, what is the loss due to vacancy? Suppose uh, the house is uh, the house is uh, let out for rupees four thousand per month and house is vacant for two months in that case you have taken this uh, you have uh, you already take this annual rent for 12 months and these two months those two months the vacancy period you have to less this amount i am giving example in following example i am giving every uh, part in the following example Uh, here is one example I have given uh, six house house one house two house three house four house five house six gross municipal value is given for all the houses fair rent is also given for all the houses but standard rent is given for only four houses that means for house four and house six there is no standard rent annual rent is also here annual rent means this is 12 months rent and vacancy period is also given for the four house and there is also a unrealized rent for house number two and house number six what i have to do sorry what you have to do you have to compute the gross annual value now i am showing how we calculate the gross annual value with this example In one chart, I have compute the six houses annual value. Uh, on the heading, I have written that computation of gross annual value. Now, follow the steps I have already given to you. Step one, I have to write. You sorry, you have to write these three. That is gross municipal value, fair rent, and standard rent. I have written all these for the all six houses for house number one gross municipal value two lakh fair rent three lakhs standard rent three lakhs for house number two three lakh six lakhs one lakh eighty thousand for house number three four lakh seven lakh fifty two lakh eighty for house number four there is only gross municipal value and fair rent no standard rent is there for house number five there is uh, all the value is there that is gross municipal value fair rent and standard rent and house number six also two value that is gross municipal value and fair rent no standard rent is there so in case of step two your sums 
starts from step 2 because in case of step 1 everything is given in the question in step 2 we, you have to calculate reasonable expected rent what is reasonable expected in rent uh, again I am repeating the formula you have to remember this formula higher of GMV GMV means gross municipal value and fair rent subject to maximum of standard rent now compare in case of house number 1 gross municipal value is 2 lakhs fair rent is 3 lakhs first you have to compare these two now after comparing these two you will get 3 lakh is the higher part this 3 lakh is higher between this GMV and fair rent now what is standard rent standard rent is 3 lakhs that means this higher part is not exceeding the standard rent standard rent is thicker kintu eta beshi hoche na so these 3 lakh will be the reasonable expected rent jukti shongoto nancho bhara in case of house number 2 gmv 3 lakh fair rent 6 lakh so higher of these two is 6 lakh higher of these two is 6 lakhs but according to standard rent control act standard rent is 1 lakh 80 thousand now these 6 lakhs is exceeding this 1 lakh 80 thousand that means these 6 lakhs will not be the reasonable expected rent reasonable expected rent will be the standard rent that is 1 lakh 80 thousand now in case of house number 3 here also gross municipal value fair rent and higher of these two is fair rent that is 7 lakh 50 thousand but here it is also exceeds standard rent so we are taking 2 lakh 80 thousand as our reasonable expected rent in case of house number 4 this is very easy because there is no standard rent so higher of these two we will take this that means here gmv is higher so we will take this gmv as a reasonable expected rent in case of house number five higher of these two that is gmv and fair rent that is three lakhs now with when we compare with standard rent this higher part is not exceeding standard rent so these 3 lakh will be our reasonable expected rent. In case, num uh, case of house number 6, there is no standard rent. So, higher of these two, that is gross municipal val value and fair rent, here it is taxable as income. Uh, sorry, uh, it, uh, here the higher part is taken as reasonable expected rent. So, uh, reasonable expected rent is we have calculated the reasonable expected rent now the part is annual rent in case of step 2 the second part is annual rent and annual rent reduced by unrealized rent subject to some condition uh, i am uh, telling this subject uh, conditions later on so uh, we deduct this unrealized rent from the annual rent so annual rent is given and uh, in here in case of house 2 there is annual rent 9 lakhs and there is a, an uh, unrealized rent of rupees 75,000 we have deducted the 75,000 and it came to 8 lakh 25,000 here annual rent is rupees 6 lakhs annual rent is rupees 3 lakhs annual rent is rupees 2 lakh 40 annual rent is rupees 2 lakh 60 16 and here also annual rent was 2 lakh 40 and there is an unrealized rent of rupees 40,000 so we have reduced it and it came to 2 lakhs now we have to in case of step 3 we have to compare we have to compare these two that is reasonable expected rent and annual rent now higher of step 2 from house 1 higher is 6 lakh in case of house 2 higher is 2 lakh uh, 8 lakh 25,000 in case of house 3 higher is 3 lakhs in case of house 4 higher is 5 lakhs 
in case of house 5 higher is 3 lakhs and in case of house 6 higher is 4 lakhs now in case of step 3 we already get the higher of step 2 now you have to reduce this loss due to vacancy so for this loss to due to vacancy there are some workings in case of house 1 there is annual rent of 6 lakhs annual rent means this is a 12 months rent so for one month rent we have to divide it by 12 by dividing this 12 with 12 we will get one month's rent and in case of house 1 there is one month vacancy period so it comes rupees 50,000 as loss due to vacancy in case of house 2 annual rent is rupees 9 lakh and dividing by 12 because this is a 12 months period so dividing by 12 and multiplying by 3 why 3 because there is a 3 months unrealized rent uh, sorry 3 months uh, vacancy period we will get 3 months vacancy loss for this 3 months how much the owner loss for the rent that loss for the rent that is that comes here that is 225000 in case of house number 3 annual rent was 3 lakhs and we divide it by 12 we get one month's rent and two month is vacancy period multiplying by two we will get the loss due to vacancy and in case of house number six annual rent was rupees two lakh forty thousand dividing by 12 uh, and multiplying by one because there is a one month vacancy period uh, we are getting this twenty thousand as a loss due to vacancy now from the step 3 we have to deduct this and we will get the gross annual value now in our main question we came to our main question uh, in case of step 3 we already get the higher of step 2 from this higher of step 2 we will reduce loss due to vacancy which we already calculated from house 1 Reduce part is rupees 50,000. From house 2, reduce part is rupees 225,000. From house 3, reduce part is rupees 50,000. From house 4, there is no vacancy, so uh, nothing is reduced here. In case of house number 5, a uh, reduce part is rupees 20,000. And in case of house number 6, there is no reduce part. Now, here is the gross annual value 6 lakh higher of step 2 from that we have deducted 50,000 so 5 lakh 50,000 is the annual value gross annual value for the first house in case of second house it is 6 lakhs in case of third house it is 2 lakh 50,000 in case of fourth house this is 5 lakhs because nothing is reduced here in case of fifth house 2 lakh 80,000 is gross annual value and in case of house number 6 nothing is reduced so gross annual value is the higher of step 2 that is 4 lakh now you have to know uh, this unrealized rent i have told you that un there there must be some conditions to be fulfilled by the owner for getting this unrealized rent so we come to the point what are the conditions for unrealized rent Unrealized rent. Onadai bhara. Bangla amra bolchi onadai bhara. Unrealized rent will allow to be deduction from rent receivable or annual rent if the following conditions are satisfied under Rule 4. You have to remember this. Conditions for satisfying unrealized rent lies in Rule 4. You have to remember this. And you have to remember this point also because 4 marks questions comes from this part. Uh, you may ask what are the conditions for unrealized rent. Then you have to write these points. 
now what are the points for what uh, for what point uh, owner can get this unrealized rent as a deduction first point is tenant should be bona fide so tenant is not a fictitious that means there must be a tenant who exist in the world bharate kalpunik noy matlab kya hai matlab hai कोई पर्सन होगा ऐसा नहीं है हम किसी का नाम दे दिए कि वो मेरा टेनेंट है बट दैट पर्सन नॉट एक्सिस्ट इन दिस वर्ल्ड ओके सो टेनेंट इज नॉट अ फिक्टिशियस सेकेंड पॉइंट सेकेंड पॉइंट इज द डिफॉल्टिंग टेनेंट हैड वैकेटेड और स्टेप्स हैव बीन टेकन टू कंपल हिम टू वैकेट द प्रॉपर्टी that means uh, legal steps are taken by the owner to vacate the property now one person is residing in my house as a tenant and he is not giving rent what will you do you have to vacate that property because that person is not giving rent to you but suppose that person uh, has a political background and he is not vacating your property but you have to satisfy the income tax department that some steps you have taken to vacate the property okay bangla ki bolchi khelapi bharate khelapi bharate kake bolche je bharate taka dicche na barite thakche kintu taka dicche na गृह सम्पत्ति खाली कर दिए बाड़ीटा के खाली कर दिए अथवा गृह सम्पत्ति खाली करार्जन तर बिुदे आईनगत व्यवस्था नेवा हो थार्ड पॉइंट थार्ड पॉइंट इज डिफल्टिंग टेनेंट इज नट इन अक्यूपेशन अफ एनी आदार प्रपार्टी अफ एस एस सपोज अ टेनेंट टेनेंट इज रिसाइडिंग इन वन प्रपार्टी अफ दर नाउ owner transferred him to another house and told the income tax authority that that person has not given rent and we have vacated that property so we have to uh, 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 we have right to get deduction for unrealized rent so there is a point that defaulting tenant is not in occupation of any property of assess kono ekjon bharate एक बाड़ी भाड़ा दिलम ना मालिकर अन्न बाड़ी तो थकते परेना ओके अल खिलापी भाड़ाटे निर्धारित अन्न को गृह सम्पत्ति दखल कर नहीं देखते हैं नम्बर फोर पॉइंट एस एस सी हेज़ टेकन अल लीगल स्टेप टू इनिशिएट द लीगल प्रोसिडिंगस अफ रिकवरि अफ अनरियलाइज रेट जो टेनेंट पैसा नहीं दे रहा है उसे हम ऐसे नहीं छोड़ देंगे हम तो कुछ करेंगे कि भाई तुम मेरे पैसा दे दो सो ओनर मस्ट हैव टू टेक सम लीगल प्रोसीडिंग्स टू रिकवर हिज अनरियलाइज रेंट दीज आर द फोर पॉइंट्स यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर फॉर द थियोरिटिकल क्वेश्चन एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव टू इन केस ऑफ क्वेश्चन इफ इन केस ऑफ सम्स इन केस ऑफ सम्स If it is not written there, if it is not written there, uh, section uh, uh, condition satisfied by the tenant, then that is on your hand. You have to give some note that I am assuming that section uh, rule four conditions of rule four satisfied by the owner, and you can get these deductions. And if you give note that. i am assuming that rule 4 has not satisfied by the owner in that case you have uh, you have to not to reduce this unrealized portion this is your choice if nothing is given in the question but if in question it is given that owner satisfies the rule 4 then you have to reduce it and if it is given that owner has not satisfied the rule 4 in that case unrealized rent is not reduced okay that's all for today watch this video minutely 
because this video is very important for your next classes and for the total sums okay thank you for today